Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, it is May and the Diecast International Builders Invitational for the month of May 2022 is for pickups. And <clears throat> this is a Matchbox 2012 casting of a 1966 A100 Dodge A100 pickup. And since that qualifies for a uh, project victim <laughs> subject, this is going to be our build. So let's uh, go ahead and we will tear this thing down, blow it apart, see what the pieces and parts are and uh, see what we have to deal with for this build. I have some ideas, but you're gonna have to hang out, watch the video, and see where it goes. So, everybody please, stay tuned. All right, we got our little <clears throat> Dodge A100 all blown apart. Two posts. That back one just long enough I could get an eighth inch screw in it. Uh, the front post, plenty of meat. I could have put a, probably an inch long one in there if I wanted to. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't have terrible tampos on it. This reminds me of a Boy Scout camp I used to uh, take my son to when I was his scout master. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me, anyway. All right, well, uh, that's what we've got. Metal, ba metal casting. Here is our glass. And this is brand new out of the blister, so uh, nothing surprising here. Bed and interior. That just needs a little cleaning up because it's been sitting on the bench for a while. Got our base. Plastic. Very basic. But uh, got a little room for some bigger meats in the back. Um, got uh, plans for that and our, our wheels, which we're not going to use on this because I uh, have another idea for it. All right, well, let's get that casting in the stripper and get the rest of the plastic cleaned up and we will get this build moving along. Everybody, please stay tuned.
All right, before we get to the reveal, let's take a few moments and look back at where we started. This 2012 Matchbox casting of a Dodge A100 pickup. Let's uh, go ahead and we will get to the reveal and let's see how this came out. Everybody, please stay tuned. Well, here it is, our completed 1966, well, it's a Matchbox, 1966 Dodge A100 pickup. And this is, of course, for the Dibs May 2022 Invitational, which is pickups. And uh, I, my intention was to make this a wheel standard, but when I created the new base, the, uh, the wheelie bars are, let's just say it would be a less than impressive wheel stand <laughs> going down the, the drag strip, but... You get the gist. You know, it's a uh, it's a wheel stander such as it is. Uh, of course, we tore it down and uh, cleaned up the casting, uh, painted it uh, just gloss black, and then created a set of custom fire breather decals. Got a little fire breathing dragon on the back, and across the front the the logo fire breather, of course, and. Uh, Made a 3D base, where, or created a new 3D base in 3D and printed it uh, with the wheelie bars. And also, I needed a little more clearance in the back for the big, fat, meaty tires that I put on there. And the best way to do that was, or the easiest way, I should say, it probably took me just as much time to create the base as it would have to uh, modify the, the, the old base, but... I decided uh, uh, that, that this one was a little blase. So, anyway. Uh, then after we did all that, we uh, uh, painted the interior, uh, the matching black, uh, gloss black. Or, I think I actually did that in matte black or satin black. Anyway, I had a set of M3, or uh, not M3, but uh, evergreen wheels from an accessory pack. And uh, they were white, but I chromed them out and uh, narrowed the axles a bit. And then after we had it all together, I uh, decided, well, I took an engine from uh, this little Honda racer, the engine and the exhaust, and uh, trimmed that up a bit so it would fit in the bed. It's a big, big, meaty V8. And just for good measure, I went ahead and threw that big old uh, snake nest of uh, exhaust uh, manifold out the back there, and big headers. And I think uh, Fire Breather is a pretty fitting name for it when you really take it all in mass. But uh, once we had it painted and decals on, went over the top of that with a couple of coats of the uh, Minwax Clear gloss clear and then we hit the headlights and taillights and door handles and uh, even the wipers so here it is I hope you like it if you do please give me a thumbs up and uh, if you're not currently a subscriber please do and ring the bell when you subscribe so you can be notified of any new builds that are coming and share with your friends well, as I said, this is for the May 2022 pickup build for the Dibs or the Diecast International Builders, myself and Matchbox Mark and Opa uh, make up the Diecast the, uh, die International Builders. Keep uh, Opa in your thoughts and prayers. He's not doing very well, but he will always be part of the Dibs group. And... Uh, care about the, the man uh, greatly and uh, we're all hoping for the best and praying for the best but uh, be sure you uh, check out our build for uh, June we have a couple of them coming up coming up in June one of them is for with four by fours at the on the 5th of June and then on the 21st Summer Rose uh, who's a close follower and a good friend of the Dibs group suggested a summer's vacation build 
where uh, you build a RV and or some sort of vacation vehicle so anyway thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next